everybody, Spike again, World's Worst Gamer, back with some more of the Pinball Arcade. Um, today I'm going to show you Attack from Mars. I'm going to, in this first video, uh, walk you through a little bit of the table, give you a close-up view of, of the different objectives and, and uh, the best way to approach them. Um, so let's go in our pro menu here, and go to Table Exploration. So um, you can see here this table is uh, great music. Lots of really great lighting effects. If you ever see one of these li live, it's almost bright, you know, when you play it. But uh, uh, really, really colorful table. I, I like this this game a lot. You'll see the play field is relatively open. Um, there's not a lot of things that you're gonna shoot the ball right back at you um, that are that are close up. You get um, you know a lot of angle shots. So you're you're shooting primarily to to hit these different ramps and the locks um, across the play field. So that's your main you know, objective is to, is to make shots up these different ramps. So it's pretty straightforward in that regard. Uh, the, way, the main objective of the game, as I mentioned, is to rule the universe. So the way to get to the rule of the universe is that first you have to uh, light all six of these objectives. So you see there where it says complete all six to light rule the universe. Um, and they are from left to right, Super Jackpot, Super Jets, Martian Attack Multiball, Total Annihilation, Conquer Mars, and the last one is Five-Way Combo. Um, so let me talk of those in order from the easiest to hardest of all those to get. Um, so the easiest one is the second from the left, that's Super Jets. Uh, Super Jets is just achieved by hitting these pop bumpers in the upper right part of the playfield. Um, and the reason that's easy to get is that when you launch a ball, the start a ball, um, balls go in there. And if you launch balls up the left or right loops, which are the very outermost lanes on the left and right, um, the balls will also feed into this area. So super jets naturally uh, will come to you through the course of a game. You don't ever have to really try to make shots to get super jets. So that one's pretty straightforward. Um, the next easiest one is probably five-way combo. Uh, so five-way combo means you just hit five of the ramp shots or loop shots uh, within a certain set amount of time. Um, and so you see the ones with the red arrows at the top of the lanes. Um, there's the, the left loop, the left ramp, the left lock, the right ramp, and the right loop. So those five, you make, uh, you make any combination of those five ramp shots within a certain amount of time and it'll give you the five-way combo. So usually that'll come pretty naturally through the course of a game as well, um, and, uh, and pretty straightforward. Uh, the next most easy one is probably gonna be Martian Attack Multiball. Uh, Martian Attack Multiball, you'll see these uh, Martians. There's one on the left there, there's two on either side of the gate in front of the saucer in the middle at the top of the table, and there's one over here at the right. Uh, what you'll have to do is uh, first you have to get all the letters M A R T I and A N on the right to spell Martian. Once you get all those lit, then it'll light that uh, the trap here for Martian attack. Uh, you put the ball in, in the trap. That's the uh, stroke of luck trap. Uh, once you put the ball in there, it will activate the Martian attack uh, mode. Then you have to hit each of the four Martians down um, during uh, during a cer set amount of time. And once you do that, it'll activate Martian Attack Multiball. So again, it's not too hard. You have to try for it uh, when it's there. Um, but, uh, but, you know, pretty straightforward to get that as well. Uh, the next objective um, in order of easiness is probably Total Annihilation. Total Annihilation is a really fun four-ball multiball mode. The way you activate Total Annihilation is again through your ramps and loops. So you have your left loop, left ramp, and then the right ramp and the right loop. If you make each of those shots three times, then it will activate uh, Total Annihilation. So um, pretty straightforward. It, it will be cumulative through the game, so you don't have to worry about uh, them resetting or anything. There's no time limit. You just have to hit each of those ramps three times. So it's a, a total of 12 shots you have to make to, to start Total Annihilation. In any decent game, you will, you will pretty easily um, get Total Annihilation started. 
Um, and the next one in order of difficulty is probably Super Jackpot. Super Jackpot, the one on the very left, um, requires uh, a little bit of effort. What you have to do is first activate the regular multi-ball mode. Regular multi-ball is activated by putting three balls in the left lock. So just to the left of the saucer, you see the green triangles, lock one, lock two, lock three. You put three balls up into that lock. Um, that'll activate the multi-ball mode. Then during the multi-ball mode, you have to make each of the five ramps or lock shots. So the, again, the left loop, left ramp, the left lock, the right ramp and the right loop. You have to make all five of those during the multi-ball. Once you make all five of those, it'll light w just one of the lanes for Super Jackpot. And the one that's lit will change every five seconds or so. It'll move uh, from the, it'll start with the left uh, loop, then it'll go to the left ramp, then the left lock, then the right ramp, then the right loop, and then back the other way, right ramp, left lock, left ra ramp, left loop. So it'll go back and forth for maybe a minute or so um, before that'll time out. So, so uh, uh, you have to do all that pretty much during the multi-ball. The, uh, if you get a super jackpot lit, it'll, it'll, it'll stay lit even if your multi-ball ends, but, but still it's, uh, it can be pretty difficult. A lot of times I will get everything done except super jackpot and just can't get there and uh, will drain all my balls. Um, the last one um, and the most fun one is to do the conquer Mars. So second from the right. The way you conquer Mars is that first of all you have to defend the five countries. France, Germany, Italy, England, USA down the middle. Um, and, and the way you defend those countries from their, t from their attackers, the Martians, is that first you open the gate in the center of the play field just in front of the saucer. You see those, they look like three red piano keys. You hit, the, hit that gate three times. That gate will then lower allowing you to hit the flying saucer. Uh, the flying saucer then will be destroyed after hit, you know, being hit a certain number of times. Um, it, it, it increases as you go along, so your first country is pretty easy, the second country is a little bit more difficult, all the way up till the fifth country when you have to have a pretty significant number of, of uh, shots on it. After you've completed all five of those countries, you've defended all five of those countries, then it'll light attack Mars. Um, and attack Mars, it'll, you'll have to lower the gate again, and then you have to hit 10 shots onto that center saucer to conquer Mars. So uh, that'll usually take most of your game, is, is getting those saucers down. Um, the saucers also score a pretty significant number of points, so it's a, it's a key objective of the game to take down saucers. Um, and, and eventually then you'll, you'll conquer Mars. Well, once you've done that and you've lit all six of those lights, then it will light the blue light here, at the light, at the lock, um, at the right lock, um, and it'll s it says rule the universe. So once you shoot the ball into that light, uh, into that into that trap there, um, you'll go into rule the universe mode, which is a really fun, you know, I think it's a five ball multi ball. It just gets really crazy, um, and it keeps feeding you balls uh, through the ball saver stays on for all of it, and you have to score five billion points bes between the. Um, a certain amount of time and then you will re rule the universe and that's that's the main objective of the game so just real quickly strategies for the game um, what I try to do is at the early part of a game I try to get two saucers taken care of right away uh, I'll gamble a little bit on the first ball once you get two saucers taken down it'll light the extra ball again at the uh, at the right trap there um, you put a ball in there and and, uh, and get an extra ball. So I'll try to start my game off really well by taking down two saucers and getting the extra ball right away on the first ball. Then I'm usually set up to have a pretty good score. Um, after that, there's some other modes of the game which I'll show you in the second video. Um, I'll also show you all the different modes. All the different multi-ball modes are presented there um, in the uh, in the second half of my video. So you'll see some of the strategies, but. Um, really, you know, once you get past the two saucers at the start of the game, after that you probably don't want to shoot directly at the saucer anymore unless you're in a multi-ball mode. And the reason is, when you're shooting at the saucer or shooting at the gate in front of the saucer, the balls have a tendency to come straight back down and, and, and drain down the middle uh, between the flippers. So, so you really want to try to avoid shooting at that gate or that saucer the deeper you go in a game because you don't want to lose 
you lose the ball. You want to keep the ball in play. So what you'll see me do is really go for my ramp shots uh, and try to activate either the regular multi-ball or total annihilation over and over again. And during the multi-balls then take, take shots at the saucer. So that's that's the base strategy is don't sh don't shoot directly at the saucer except you know the time I cheat on that is early in the game to get a good score started but after that you want to you want to avoid shooting straight up the middle and try to get your ramp shots and your lock shots um, to activate multi balls and then go after the saucer so th so that's pretty much it um, I will uh, you know like I said I have another video part two of this uh, is me playing the game all the way to rule the universe. Um, and uh, showing you all the different achievements and uh, all the different multiples. So I hope, I hope this helps, um, but uh, please take a look at my second video. Talk to you soon. This is Spike.